In the last session, you just practiced doing simple ionic compounds, and these were the answers that you and I got together. Hopefully you got them right yourself. We took the charges off the chart, and they had to equal zero, and if they didn't equal zero, then we had to figure out how many of each would be needed for them to work out to zero, and this is how we got our formulas, and this is how we got their names. Sulfur became sulfide, bromine became bromide, oxygen became oxide, iodine became iodide. Some of them had one number, some had two numbers in them, some had none. I'm going to show you a shortcut. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to take the names out. These aren't necessary here for a minute. What I'm going to teach you is what is called the criss cross method. It's a shortcut. But I only show you the shortcut because we've already learned how to do it. Again, trying to make it faster and using what they give you for the tax test. Now notice that in this one that we did, we'll just use the examples we used from the try it yourself, plus one, minus two. They didn't equal zero. Here's what the crisscross method is. If they do not equal zero, if you put this number here and this number here, it always works out. If you take this number here and this number here, see how they're crossing in the middle? Put this number here and this number here, you get the right answer. So let's see if that's right. Na 2s1. Oh, that's the right answer. Ca, the 1 moves over and you don't write the 1. Br and the 2 moves out there. That's correct. So Al 2 O and the 3 moves out there, Al2O3, and this one equals 0. If they equal 0, you don't do the crisscross method, so we won't use that at all here because it's not necessary. So if it doesn't equal, we'll just take that one out. If they don't equal, then you use the crisscross method. Let's look at another one real quick. What happens if I had one like K and S? Well, when I look at the charges, K is a plus 1, O is a minus 2. The first question you have to ask yourself is, do they equal zero? No. Then crisscross them. It means switch their places. So it should be K2. So the two went there. S1. And you don't write the one. Called potassium sulfide. So let's look at one or two more and then I'll have you try some on your own. Let's have some new ones. What happens if you had one like Mg and P? Check the charges. Mg plus 2. P minus 3. Again, number straight off the chart. Do they equal 0? No. Switch them. Mg 3. P 2. Now notice I'm taking the numbers from the top and they go down to the bottom. The charges, the plus and the minus, disappear. And so basically, there's my answer. It becomes magnesium phosphide would be what it's called. Now, why does that make sense? If you're a math person, here's why. What numbers do 2 and 3 go into? 6. How many 2s give you 6? 3. How many 3s give you 6? 2. The crisscross method is just a faster way of doing it. So what happens if you have this one? A, L, and P plus 3 minus 3. Do they equal 0? Yep then they're gone. The answer is ALP, aluminum phosphide. You don't switch anything. You only do the crisscross method if they don't equal zero. A couple more. Let's say we have CA and I. CA is plus two. I, negative one. They don't equal, switch them. C A I 2. The two moved outside called calcium oxide. It's really pretty simple. I'm going to show you one other thing, and sometimes they put one of these on the tax test, and it can really look like it tricks you. And yet, it's really pretty simple. Calcium is a plus 2, and in this case, I'm going to give you something that looks really weird. This is what is called a poly atomic ion. Don't let it confuse you. Polyatomic ion and the word ion disappeared. 
on my screen, so let me put that back in real quick. Polyatomic ion. Really, it's the same thing. It's the same thing we were just doing. Let me take the words out so I can make life a little easier on the screen. Here's how it works. All this is is a group that has a charge rather than just a single. So this is a single that has a charge. This is a group that has a charge. It's called a nitrate in this case. You don't have to memorize it. Most times in the question they'll tell you it's called a nitrate. They just say calcium is going to form with nitrate. What's the correct formula? It doesn't matter what this is. All you're looking at is the charges. Do they equal zero? No. What do you do if they don't equal? Switch them. Ca1. NO3 is going to have the 2. Now it's not NO32, it's NO3 with an extra 2. Well, if you remember much from math class, whenever you have something like this and you have a number out front to set it off, you put it in parentheses. So that's what we're going to do here. Whenever you have a group and an extra number, you just put in a parentheses. It's the only time you ever do it. Calcium nitrate. That's the name of this compound. You're just naming what it is. Now that may be confusing. Let me do one more. What happens if I have one like um, Na and PO4 negative 3? Na is a plus 1 right off the chart. They'll always give you this. They'll always give you this. They don't expect you to memorize them because it's not directly on the chart. They just want you to look at the charges and do the right thing. Plus 1, minus 3. Switch them. Na, 3. PO4, 1. Do we write ones? No. There's your answer. Sodium phosphate. Important thing to remember, you do not have to know that name. They'll tell it to you. So it's not too difficult. I'll give you one more, and then I'm going to have you try a couple on your own of both types. What if I had one like this? This one looks really, really weird. It's the same thing. If I told you that NH4 is called ammonium, and SO4 is called sulfate, what will their formula be? You don't ever change this formula. It's all about the charges that I just circled. All right, do they equal zero? No. Switch them. NH4, two. Oh, you have an extra number. What do you do? Parentheses. SO4, one. Do you write the one? No, there's your answer. Ammonium sulfate. It looks confusing, but it works just like the others. What would you do if you had this one? Ca plus 2. This one just comes to memory real quick. SO4 minus 2. Do they equal 0? Yeah. Mark them out. Your answer is CaSO4. Calcium sulfate. They'll tell you that word. Let's see if you can get a couple of these on your own.